Coming to you live from Daytona International Speedway, beautiful Daytona Beach. NBCSN presents the NASCAR Nationwide Series as we celebrate the 10th anniversary season of Nationwide Competition. Welcome to the 10th Annual NASCAR Shell Rookie Shootout presented by Goals. Join me alongside Hall of Fame broadcaster Emmanuel Hart and Andre Vendor, the voice of the Dash Car Nationwide Series. We're making history tonight, Hartnett. A record setting 30 rookies are going to take the green flag. This is a big number. That's more than half the field. And I'm very excited to see what these rookies can do when we get in a real non campaign race and see what they can do on the restricted plate tracks. Now, when we come here to Daytona, we expect fantastic racing and always the threat of the big one. With the rookies being on track tonight, are they going to make uh, rookie mistakes? Oh, yeah, they will definitely make rookie mistakes tonight. This is a rookie show. This is before they make the big race. Daytona is the big the Daytona race where it's points. But, but it's... It's, this is the one who will track a little bit. We'll get the experience before they know what they're expecting next week for the real thing. Now, coming here to Daytona in the past, this track was completely repaved. Now that the track has underwent some aging, there are some bumps on the track. Are the cars going to get upset over those bumps, or are we going to see uh, organized racing? Well, I took, I took a lap around here earlier today. I, well, turns one to a little bit of bumpiness, a little bit of bumpiness of way. And down the back stretch, it smooths out. Down in turns three and four. It gets a little bit bumpy through in the middle of it. I would turn four from the finish line. It's pretty smooth until you get to the travel with the, with the, with the banking. Alright, these, these rookies are just finishing up their happy hour practice. We'll get them lined up. And we'll meet the rookies on the other side of this commercial break. You're watching the NASCAR Shell Rookie Shootout presented by Golf here on NBCSN. Welcome back to Tona and NBCSN's coverage of the 10th Annual NASCAR Shell Rookie Shootout presented by Golf here from Daytona International Speedway. Like I said, Harnett, we're, we're setting a record with 30 rookies taking to the track. Let's meet them. On the pole, Kelly Boston in the 20. Starting second, Brian Chris Dooley. Chris Dooley in the 7. Chris Dooley. I said Chris for some odd reason. <laughs> Row number two sees <clears throat> Elbow Wonder in the 48. 31, Ish Taylor making her start. Row number three sees Jay Barker. Josh Barker. Josh Barker, excuse me. I hope you have the names. In the throwback, Bobby Gerhardt, number five. Brianna Maxwell in the 24, making her Nationwide Series debut here in NASCAR. In the 11, we have Audra Baranowskis. I've heard that name before, Hartnett, uh, uh, coming over from the, uh, I think it was the, the Universal Cup Series or the, or the T-Mobile Series, run by Dylan Young. Yes, I have. It was, I believe it was the Universal Cup, Universal Series. Number 38 is for Lily Gordon. 66 we have is, well, terrible dudes, William Brock. Now to 66 of Paul Minnick. In the 34 we have... The, the 89, 89 we got Rose Feliciano da Silva. In the 34 we have Aiden Shepard. Moving on to the next row, number 4 for Kelly Salvador, Pony Motorsports. In the 32 we have... Pryna McShane. Pryna McShane. Come on, Pryna. You big them. The 99, also for Pony Motorsports, welcome Tiffany Maldonado. In the 61, we have Arena <laughs> McShane. Pretty close to Ariana. Yeah. 62 for Levi Scones or Shows. I hope I got that name right. 41 we have is 
Candy Rocks. I think we all know who that came from. John Cena Dino. John, Mr. John Cena Dino. <laughs> Number 16, we got... Last name, Maxwell. Nikki Maxwell. Nikki Maxwell. <laughs> Six, we got Herzl Arvin Alonzo. Uh -huh. Bri uh, Brian Fraser, number Bobby 43, Fraser. Bri Bobby Fraser. 21 is for Matt Johnson. That's 27. Yeah, 27. <laughs> 91 is for JT Hanley. And the 90 is... TJ Hanley, how about that? I uh, 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 wonder how to that. Wow. Chris Hammond in the 92. Hoper. <laughs> Super Hammond. Nah, you can pronounce that name. Oh my goodness. It was <laughs> Bennett Lafair. <laughs> Bennett Lafair Irvine. Or, I don't know. 18 uh, we got is Joshua Sukuli. Also out of the Universal Cup series. <clears throat> Number 60. This one, this ride everyone wanted to fight tooth and nail for, but for Jeff Bright. And the number 49, or 22, Ron Orton. And the 49 for Quentin Moore. So that's our 30 car field here tonight. But as always, it's time for our picks presented by Nationwide. Nationwide's on your side. Alright, who are you going to win this 28 lap shootout? Well, I don't want to sound biased, but... I love where my drivers are starting, first and seventh, so I'd love to go with, I don't take this personally guys, but I like Paul Menick in the 66, though. That's a nice looking Toyota, and I believe that man will go with the one too hard. Well, not to sound biased, but I'm going to go with the 99 of Tiffany Maldonado here, starting uh, in the seventh row, I believe, the seventh row. Going to get that win for Pony Motorsports here tonight. They're on... They're on the, they're in turn two on the 32, what is it, 31 degrees of banking? It's 32. 32 degrees of banking. They will do 28 circuits around the world center of racing. Let's look at your track facts here today at Daytona. It is 28 laps, 2.5 miles, hit road speed. 55 miles an hour and 31 degrees banking in the turns and 10 degrees of banking in the trial board. Very nice job by our track expert Emmanuel Hartnett. They're in turn three. High on the east banking of turn number three. The lights are out on the pace car, which means we're going green. Butterfly is in the car for the rookies as we get set to go. Kelly Boston and Reese Dooley will bring it to the green flag of the line as they're to be the NC. We got ants in their pants right now. Coming off turn number four, the pace car will look toward pit road and make the hard left hand turn onto pit road. The field in the hands of the 20 of Kelly Boston. And for the 10th time in season history, and the anniversary season of the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Green flag's in the air, and we're underway at Daytona. Boogie, 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 let's go racing, drivers. <laughs> Kelly Boston leads them off into turn number one, side by side with the seven of, of, of Reese Dooley now going Second is Taylor as they go down the back stretch. Everybody side by side. Right out the front. Brick Cameron, who's by our crew. You see Ace Taylor and 31 trying to go underneath the head of Boston. But Boston puts the block. No! Boston puts it down on top, but here they come out of turn four. Side by side. This is for the lead. Ish Taylor versus uh, Kelly Amen. Boston. If uh, if this was the finish, it would go to that 31 by a nose. Barely. <laughs> but I prefer to be on that bottom side. But here, oh, here we go. Three wide. Three wide. Oh, three wide for the race lead. Look out. Here comes the 24. That of Brianna Maxwell on the back, down the back stretch. These ladies are showing these men who's the boss. 
Kelly Boston still free by. But here comes Roy Golden. Number 38, Grit Cooks. Oh, 24 rocks up track just a little bit. That could have been disaster. Three wide still. Wow, look at it, guys. Not a turn number four. See here, three wide, but they sell it out. There they come. The other max will lead a lap here at Daytona. Now don't look now. Here comes that 38. Down low. On the bottom, that... Well, here comes a 10 of William Brock as well. 31 is Taylor Lilly Gordon in the 38. Shot the 41 out. nose off, why don't ya? These rookies are insane. The only one is a check and a trophy right here. No here point, so Gordon. why not go, go for broke? Yeah, here, here they come out of turn four. Brianna Maxwell leads another lap right here at Daytona. We got William Brock. Down there now what we gotta watch for here, Hartnett, is these these guys and girls making rookie mistakes. We've seen this countless times in past shootouts. But their spotters are saying, hey, it's four laps into it. We got twenty-eight laps around here. Let's just mind our P's and Q's and we'll be there at the end. Yes, yeah, so you saw Luke change the Willie Gordon goes to the race three of William Brock, who's taking up the second position. 61 gets out of shape, moves down low. How about this? Years. Tony Motorsports teammates. Kelly Salvador, Tiffany Maldonado, 9, 99, and 4, helping each other on the track, going towards the top five. Here we come out of turn four. Salvador trying to get some more position, get, get some there. But as you see, the 34 ducks out, boss, moves the lap early. Now we just see here at 34. I forgot that name already, but I do apologize. But we'll figure that out later. Aiden Shepard, I meant to do that. But here uh, comes Aiden Shepard. Here comes Candy Rocks. Three females on the bottom of the racetrack. But now it's the 99 of Maldonado being pushed by Rocks. Maldonado has the best has the best lineup there, but Salvador and oh shoot, what is it? Shepard are going to are going to pull that right foot. Aiden Shepard to the race lead here at the Daytona. Aiden Shepard in the 34 being under fire from the 4. They, that 4 car, Hartnett, has seen a lot of trips to victory lane being driven by the veteran Diana Vasquez. Yes, these 4 cars have very good luck here at Daytona. I, I won't remember back in, or oh, I forgot his track series. I won in the 4 car at Daytona, but not here though, a different Daytona during the day, and I won that four car. So these four cars are very dumb, as you see Ken Rock's part of the line to go underneath to, to, to battle Tiffany Mount now the line. And here comes a four of Salvador, right down low. She saw Rocks go to the inside. Now she says, let's go. Here comes Candy Rocks underneath Tiffany Milano Nano in the number 99, and G Machine Toyota. But you see Aiden Shepard there is under attack by Candy Rocks. And you see Lily Gordon. Found her way to the bottom and that they took so each Toyota Camry. Oh, the floor is back where it belongs, and that's in the front of the pack at Daytona. But can she hold it there as real early in this race? Here comes Candy Rocks behind her. Now we're only seven laps into a 28 lap event. Here comes the 38. Candy Rocks in the 41. And three wide. Almost contact a little bit between the 43 and the 38. Well, that, well, that was close. You see the three wide out of turn number four. My goodness, these guys and girls are racing like it's the last lap of the uh, of the 300 mile which will run here next week. Yes, we will. Next week. Here comes down and turns number one and two. The four car is showing the way here at Daytona. Kelly Salvador is your race leader with that 43 of Bobby Frazier. It's taking on the... Woo! Oh, that's close. Here comes here the 90! Comes the 90. JT Henley starting the back. Here comes the 92 of the JT Henley machine. We see Kelly Boston in number 20. Look at, look at this pattern, Josh is secure. Look at the 49 quick more, he's starting to be his way into the forest. 
This just proves us we got 20 laps to go. This proves that you can start from any position and win. And here comes Paul Center, Kelly Boston. Yes, can she make a chance to back up for that one? Basically, uh, Kelly Salvador, do, do, do you pull out here? No, no, not pulling out. Three wide, about two rows deep back there. Here, here comes, comes Boston. Boston. Boston for for fire ice racing. Boston strong on the inside. Toyota and Chevy out of turn four. Toyota will prevail out of here. As you see the Dodge of, of Cooper Hammond. Yes, that's a cool name. I like that in there, please. Oh, As you see, boy! What a block! Now we go try to do the crossover right back in that work out. As you see, Boston leads the first lap of the first lap of the night. Maldonado being caught on the outside. Going to drop like a rock, but most likely going to find her way up back to the front. Yes. Looks like nobody has lost the draft so far, but Kelly, Kelly, Kelly Salvador in, in the second place now. As Joshua Sakuri is the first car on the inside line right here. Hitler! He battled for the race lead. Kelly Salvador versus Kelly Boston. The two Kellys are at it. My, 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 my. This is just fantastic racing as we got Maldonado, or not Maldonado, uh, Salvador back Salvador. to the lead. But here comes the most unsponsored car in the field, Cooper Chapman. I mean, oh my gosh. Cooper Hammond, you big dummy. Excuse me, at least I didn't make a big feels like you did. Cooper but Hammond, as uh, you have to go overseas to watch this race. Yes, this is Daytona. We have to go overseas to watch a Bristol. He, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he, he has no idea what I just did. Oh, oh, I remember now. I remember back in well, the Gateway. Last season at Gateway. Yes. But here comes Josh. But by Cooper Hammond staying up racing. Whoa! Josh McCoy's been his way to second. Here comes the unsponsored machines turn to lead this race here. That's what we got. Which one is that name? Number 26. Well, not now. Let's give a call to Joshua Sakoli here. Sakoli coming out of the Universal Cup Series to come race here in NASCAR. Doing a dandy, leading at Daytona, but here comes. Uh. Left there. Irvine down to the bottom. 26. That's the, fr the French drivers came overseas to race in NASCAR here at Daytona, so. Good job by the Frenchman. Out of turn four. Ooh, the six got a little wide there as they came out of the, it came into the trial over. The Bear Irvine will lead. That's uh, Hojo Arvin Alonzo in the Six City Financial Ford Fusion. Wait, Ford, what was that? Uh, Ford Fusion, you got that right. <coughs> okay, I thought it was going to be As Ford Fusion, he's got that left, Joe. 49, Quentin Moore. Uh, these are two under, uh, uh, unsponsored race cars. Here comes Org on the bottom. Here no, comes the 91 of JT Hanley. No, look at this. The 49 and 22 is starting the final row. Final row? He won. Excuse me. He's starting the final row of this race. And they're 2 and 3 right now. Well, speaking of 2 and 3, 2 and 3 wide going on mid pack. They're shuffling like this. 3 wide back there. Here comes the 22 of Org. Ron Orn to the race lead here at the Daytona, but but that left there. Whoa! Watch out, 49 foot more. Look here out. comes the fair Irvine back on the front. Irvine does not want to give up. No, he doesn't, but Ron Orn is just taking the lead here in that 22. Here comes Irvine down to the bottom. Irvine to the bottom of Hanley. Brother, can put more can try to cut the bottom? No, he cannot. Out of turn number four, Bennett LaFayre Urban is going to take the race lead here at the Daytona. Three wide going on back there, the five being, uh, pushing the, uh, I believe that's the 43, now the five ducks down inside. 99 Maldonado still being caught on the outside, Candy Rocks got pushed out of line, got stuck up to the outside, and we're inside of 10 to go from Daytona. Inside 10 to go, what are you talking about? 15 of 28. We're I'm coming up on 10 to go. Oh! 10 plays not with us, ladies and gentlemen. 
But Bennett, but forget that Bennett will fail. Urban has taken the race lead. But look down. Here comes one of the Henleys. I think that's JT Henley in the number 91 unsponsored new team no, that's, Chevrolet. That's, that's, yes, that's JT Hanley. You 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 were correct there. Here comes the 62 stop right to one of Levi Scarlet on the inside. So Scarlet's what? Levi Scarlet or Scarlet? I have no idea. Okay, but here comes Herschel Arvin Alonzo. And the 89 bracing for Jesus. 89, uh, Rose Feliciano De Silva. We haven't talked about her all race long. Here comes De Silva pushing the stitch. And the to the back bumper of the 62. Oh, that could have been disaster. Yo, I'm going to put him in the match. Here he comes. These drivers know we're coming inside with 10 laps to go. And De Silva knows it too. Racing with Jesus is putting the hammer down. But 12 laps to go here at Daytona. Who will be getting the first checkered flag of the year here at Daytona? Will it be the Jesus car? Will it be the sponsor machine? Will it be the veteran? I mean, not the here comes the Silva. Here comes the 27 of Matt Johnson down to the bottom. Here comes Kelly Sidewalk. JT Handling 91. Joshua Shakur is Joshua Shakur is moving his way back up. You see the 43 Bobby Frazier. Here comes the Silva for seconds. Ten to go. At Daytona. Anything can happen. No, anybody can still win this race. Got trouble for the 99. Looks like he has lost the draft. Yes, your pick has lost the draft right now. But we'll keep our eye on her later and see what she can do. See the face guard. Bennett will flare. He's playing at the Kelly Salvador right now. He is leading laps like nobody. The racing for Jesus. Can he move down? Can she, she move down? But no! The four will take it. Salvador right there the number four. Excuse me. I can't think of the number. Oreo Rich Chevrolet out of... Uh, Looks like Maldonado has caught the draft again. Jesus, she's what she wants to do. This year's Here comes Sacoli on the bottom. Out from the 43. Bobby Fraser, <laughs> then you get the 26 and 692 of Cooper Hammond. You got Paul Minnick back in 66. I haven't talked about him. But well, here comes Archer Baranowski in the 11. And Jeff Bright. We haven't talked about them all day today. Give a call to Baranowski here. Uh, Hartness stayed at the back all race long. Now when it matters the most, going in towards the front. Here we go. Kelly Salvador going back on Probably. the lead. Here comes Joshua Sakuli. Joshua Sakuli, I think Kelly Boss, I mean Kelly Salvador, excuse me. Kelly Salvador and Bennett is there. Urban has the dominant cars. So we know what they have for next week at the drop of Seal PP300. We know what they have here for the campingworld. dot com for, for the camping world three hundred here at Daytona. Oh, 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 oh. But now all, all eyes rest on Kelly Salvador. Tony Motorsports in their fiftieth season is going for their tenth win at Daytona. That's a lot of wins, a lot of years, but experience, no doubt. Oh, this is two jobs to lose, and Pat Kennedy Ross and Lily Gordon saw back there. They have both of them losing the draft right now. And we're seeing what we've seen in the past, two cars breaking away, the four Bobby. and Bobby Frazier. Yes, that's a... If that's, some, that's a pack up there, as you see here. Uh, you see there's everybody driving through Kelly Salvador to four. It's winning this race here at Daytona. Oh, 43 Bobby thought Fraser. about it. Still no caution. Each driver's driving like veterans out here right now. Bobby Frazier looking, but here comes Cooper Hammond in the 92. Look out, Paul Medic in the 66 on the is Cooper Hammond. Man, Paul Minnick wants to get up to the front and win this thing. Can he do it? Well, we'll find out. We got, we got seven laps remaining here at Daytona. Let's give you your top five as they run. Kelly Salvador. Uh, Bobby Frazier. Paul Minnick. 
Andres, uh, Andre Baranaskis, Jeff Bright, and Cooper Hammond. And here we go, side by side. Now Bobby Brazier here comes, and Paul Minnick. Going to the bottom, here comes 60, Jeff Bright, here comes to 61. Here we go. Maldonado playing it safe. Oh my god, I'm so antsy right now. Paul Minnick wants that lead. Can he get this lead thing right? Right this left. But here comes Jeff Bright in the sixth. Jeff Bright driving the 60. That car has won a championship in season one. With Dom Caps driving the wheel. Yeah, Dom Caps driving that 60 to a championship. Here comes the 61 on the 60. That's for third on the track. I don't know who that 61 is, but they're doing well. Good job. Ariana McShane, our arena McShane, in the 61. Big Shane, we haven't talked about her all the race long. Oh, watch out. Wow. Hey, look who's Paul Bowles. Step 31 of this show. She moved, she lost. She went backwards. Now she moves forward. Look, we've got new players can win this race. Here comes Arena oh, McShane. Here comes the 31, the 10, and the 9, the 90. Held at the Here. back of the pack all the race long. That four is strong here, Hartney, and we're coming. Battle for the lead, here we go. Battle go. uh, for the lead on track. Here we come out of turn four. Kelly Salvador will lead this field out of turn four. Maldonado moving up. Not going to be there towards the end, I don't think. Here comes Ish Taylor in the third one. And here comes William Brock in the 10. Is Taylor going to go on the inside? No! Block! No! Takes it! No! Here's Taylor on the inside. Here comes your outside pulse center. Here comes your pulse center. Kelly Boston back on the front. William Brock. TJ Hanley. Oh my goodness. Paul Minnick. Here comes Mickey Maxwell. Three wide! And that could have been trouble. Yeah, I could, but they saved it. They're driving smart right now. But here they come out of turn four. It's Taylor to the race lead. It's Taylor side by side with Salvador. To the line they come. Taylor has it. Three to go here at Daytona. It's, it's Taylor. I don't like the position here, but I like it where Nick Maxwell is in his 16, to be honest. But William Brock is moving her. William Brock moving. Uh, here comes driving. Hanley down to the bottom. That 10 car won last year's race at Daytona, one, I might just add. Is he going to move? Yes, he will. Here, he comes. Here comes Brock. Here Brock to the race in at Daytona. Two to go this time by, and William Brock, the rookie. Well, they're all rookies, but William Brock, for the first time in his Nationwide Series debut, is going to go for the lead, and Here got it. Here comes T.J. Hamlin. T.J. Hamlin is coming. TJ Hanley, do not count him out. Here he comes. Here comes the 16, the 7, and the 20. Nicky Maxwell. He's doing. Kelly Boston, here we come. Can oh Nicky Maxwell God. make history and be the first female driver since Beth Sinise to win at Daytona? We'll find out here. We got well, Nick Maxwell will do it, but coming out of turn four, T.J. Hanley will lead the white flag back. White flag for T.J. Hanley. Will he make it back around as the leader, or will Maxwell or anyone out of the pack make the pass? We're on the white flag drop, and will they all make it back in one piece? We'll find out now. Maxwell will try to make it to the line here for the first time in her career. Everybody's trying to get the line here at Daytona. If anyone, Maxwell has to the most decent shot. If she wants this come. win, she has to make the move now. Here, Here comes, comes the Ray seven Stoli. down to the bottom. Ray Stoli, you really know she can't win now. Ray Stoli inside. Ray Stoli side by side with Maxwell. That's all Hanley needs to see. And coming out of turn right. number four, turn it's going to be TJ Hanley, Hanley taking the checkered flag in the shootout. Woo! Unbelievable.
Average, look at the average speed, 200. TJ Hanley, when it mattered the most, he held at the back of the pack and oh, got yeah. the checkered flag. Congratulations to TJ Hanley getting his first career win here in Dallas car. Wow, we goodness. What a finish. He'll go for another checkered flag here at Daytona when we come back for the season opener. What a, what a finish to open up this season. What a finish. We still will come on with a great second place finish. <laughs> and Nicky Maxwell makes her way to the fourth with William Black Pitt. But all eyes rest on that 90 car. Look at that pit box. <coughs> Think of real good sponsors on that number 90 team, possibly. 24 gave it uh, his, uh, her all, but has to settle for a third place finish. Let's get to your official standings here. It's TJ Hanley, Reese Dooley, Bri uh, Brianna Maxwell, Nikki Maxwell, William Brock, Kelly Boston, um, <coughs> Josh Barker, Lily Gordon, Ish Taylor and Kelly Salvador rounding out your top 10. Tiffany Maldonado goes home with a 21st place finish. No cars off, no cars wrecked, no cautions, and Wanderly in 30th. That was one of the things made last year. But let's look at some names we saw. Bobby Fringe is up front. We saw who else we see up front for him. Where is, where is that one driver? <coughs> uh, Bennett. We'll see that Bennett got in. Bennett LaFerre well, finished 26. 26. Joshua Sakuli in the top 25. Well, TJ Hamley. 200.2 miles per hour was the, was the set speed. And oh, wow. TJ Hanley will go for another checkered flag when we come back for the season opener. Final thoughts on the race. These rookies are smart indeed. They are smart. We saw the comers and goers, and comer was TJ Hamlin. The big news here today was Bentley Irvin, who, who, who led the race for quite a while, but fell back to the 26th position. But I know, great race. I'm looking forward to more 300. Yeah, I'm looking forward to more 300. All right, that's going to do it for us here at Daytona Motor Speedway. Thank you for watching. NBC Dascar and NBCSN. For all of us here at in the NASCAR Nationwide Series and for everyone with the Nationwide Series and NBCSN and the new NBC NASCAR. So long, everybody.